Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be something a little more chill and probably a lot shorter than my other videos. So I just wanted to share with you guys my Christmas beauty wish list. And maybe this will give you some ideas if you're looking for gifts for someone who does like makeup and beauty and stuff like that. But these are things that I've been wanting for a while, but I just haven't bought for whatever reason because either I don't need them, which I don't need any more makeup, uh, or I find they're like a bit overpriced. So that's why they're on my wish list and that's why I haven't bought them yet. So I guess I'll start with the smaller items and work up to the bigger ones. Just, I don't know, that seems like something I should do. So the first thing that's on my list is a lipstick from MAC. It's called Blankety. And I'll have pictures up here. That's why I'm sitting uh, over to the side here because obviously these are on my wish list. I don't have them yet. So you can see them in the pictures. So the first thing is the MAC lipstick. It's called Blankety. I'm just gonna pull it up on my Sephora app so I can give you more details. So this lipstick has been on my list for a while. Um, I heard a lot of people talking about it and at first I was like, well, that sounds nice but not for me because I felt like it was going to be like a super pink lipstick. But if you have ever watched um, Samantha Ravendahl's videos, she's been wearing that lipstick in a lot of her recent videos and it's actually really wearable because it's more like a nude pink it's not really just like you know like a white base pink so on the sephora app this lipstick is described as a soft pink beige and it's an amplified formula yeah and i just really like the mac lipstick formula i find it's very comfortable to wear and i like the smell of them so yeah this one is on my list it'll probably be the next lipstick that i I don't need any more but I would like to have it so the next thing on my list is the Fenty gloss bomb universal lip luminizer in the color fussy so this is the new shade it's described as a shimmering pink and it just looks really nice and I just need it because I have the other two and obviously I have to have the third one to complete my collection um, seriously, if you guys haven't tried these lip glosses, they're so good. So I'll just show you in case you haven't seen, but I'm sure you have. This is what the applicator looks like. So it's like a big doe foot applicator and the smell is so good. I don't know what it reminds me of. It's something, some kind of candy that I feel like I ate as a child. I don't know. Well, it's supposed to be vanilla peach, but it smells like candy and it's delicious. So this is the first one that she came out with. Um, this was called Fenty Glow. So it's like a nude lip gloss and they're not like super pigmented, if you can see. It's more like a sheer wash of color and like the glitters inside are so fine that it really does like just make your lips look shiny they don't look like super glittery and when you rub your lips together you don't it's not like gritty at all so that's why I really like this gloss and it's also not sticky which I love so yeah and then the other one she has um, that I've worn in a few videos and it was in my November favorites this one is called Diamond Milk. So this one is like this. And I know it looks kind of scary, like it's gonna be like a white, like milky gloss, but it's really not. It's this here. So it's really just like super shiny, same scent, yeah. I just love it. So I already know I'm gonna love the new one, plus the color looks super nice as well. So yeah, I'm excited to have that. Oh, and these glosses, I better wipe this off before I get it everywhere. 
these glasses have shea butter in them so they actually moisturize so the next product on my list is more lip products by the way my favorite things in makeup are eyeshadow palettes and lip products so you'll probably see me talking a lot about those but um, this is something that I've meant to buy a few times but every time I go and check out on the Sephora app it's out of stock yeah so it's currently out of stock again but this is the Pat McGrath Labs Lust Mini Matte Trance Lipstick Trio Wow. so there's actually two versions of this but the one that I would get is called Skin Show so this one has the colors Omi 1995 and Flesh 3 and they just look like super nice um, yeah like nude berry kind of tones and yeah there's a good variety and they look really nice on all skin tones from what I can see on the app here so this formula is supposed to be really good it's obviously it's called matte trance so it's a matte lipstick but it's supposed to be like creamy and not drying which I like so it's described as a trio of lustworthy mini lipsticks in best-selling shades and a finish so sinful your lips will speak volumes without ever whispering a word. Okay, well that wasn't very descriptive of the actual product, but yeah, that's kind of like Pat McGrath vibe, I guess. I don't own anything from Pat McGrath because the prices are insane, but this is like the first thing I would get from her. So it is $32 and I have no idea how big those lipsticks actually are. I'm sure they're like tiny, but I still think it's worth it to get this instead of one full size because I know I like all these colors and a full size and a full size of one of these lipsticks is 52. So who wouldn't get three of three different shades that's just crazy i guess that's why it's always sold out but yeah this is definitely something on my list i actually also have two like non-beauty items on my list but you can get them at sephora so that's why i just included them in here so the first one is actually a travel bag which i need i already do have tons of makeup bags but none of them are really made specifically for traveling like this one is so this is by sephora it's in the sephora collection it's called the pack it all organizer it has five stars so apparently it's really good it says it's a soft yet sturdy travel friendly train case so i just love how inside it's like you can put everything in there so you don't need a separate bag for your brushes one for liquids one for powders you can put everything in this one bag and i've seen it in store and it's not like too huge or anything but it does have like it's very deep so you can put a lot in and i like how it has these squares so they're like mesh material and you can see what you put in them and then everything's just stored so neatly which i really like yeah, and it just seems like it would keep all your stuff safe and be less prone to breaking or spilling or whatever. So you get a large outer bag, two small inside removable storage cubes, and a small inside removable flat pouch. So yeah, I do need something like this because I am going on a trip in January. And I think this would be really good. I'm just, why I haven't bought it yet is because it's $56. And I know Sephora always puts their makeup bags and things like that on sale. So I've been waiting for, like since it came out for it to go on sale, but it hasn't yet. Hopefully, maybe like soon or after Christmas it might go on sale. And yeah, I would definitely pick it up then and hopefully it won't sell out. So the next non-beauty item on my list is a candle. I actually have one already so I can show you in, well, I was going to say in person but I guess on camera. <laughs> this is um, a candle by Cole and Canary. So I have on my list another, like a different scent of this same candle. So these are hand poured soy candles. They're made in Canada and um, they have a wood wick if 
you can see that so when it's lit it sounds like a fireplace like it has a, like a crackling crackling sound and look how clean it burns that's like my favorite part well it's like one of my favorite parts so usually when you get like a white candle in a clear jar like this it gets like all black and it doesn't burn evenly and it just ends up looking kind of dirty but this looks so nice still this one's called top knots and tequila shots the scent is lime agave and hibiscus and it says on the back that it can burn for approximately 45 to 50 hours which i think is true because i've had this for um, a long time i think i got this in the summer and i've been burning it like pretty consistently and sometimes i've left it on for like an hour or two at a time and i only burn that much so these are kind of pricey but a lot of candles like that actually smell good are super expensive lately i don't know what's up with that but this one i think is worth the money so i actually have three other candles like this on my sephora loves list but the one that i really want to get next is called smoky eyes and dreamy guys so this scent is described, well, the fragrance family is earthy and woody. The scent type is citrus and woods, and the key notes are amber, mandarin, and musk. So I think I would really like this because I love citrus scents. And this is like a warm scent, so I think it'd be nice like for winter too to get this one next. So it says on the app, the warm scent of smoky eyes and dreamy guys is reminiscent of late nights out and deep conversations with handsome strangers. Will it be love or will you, <laughs> or will you leave him with that one night to remember how captivating and sexy you are? Okay, weird description. So these candles are 8 ounces or 28.3 grams and they're hand poured and feature a wood wick that crackles like a mini fireplace when it burns enjoy for 45 to 50 hours of burn time so yeah i really like these candles and i actually was like lurking the website to see what else they make and i read that they put these candles in like the oscars gift bag or something so i guess that means they're good right yeah i love this scent of this one and also these candles when you burn them you actually do smell you actually do smell the scent and it's not overpowering so yeah I would like to get another one of those so back to makeup now we're getting to some more crazy items <laughs> so the first one well actually this is a fragrance so this is the Victor and Rolf Victor and Rolf whatever victor and rolf flower bomb luxury gift set so it looks super cute first of all you get the eau de parfum the shower gel and the body lotion they, they're all 50 milliliters so i don't think that's the full size of the fragrance i'm not sure it looks like it is though i don't know but I smelled this in store and it smells really nice and I made sure to try it on my skin because I find that, I don't know, like my body chemistry or whatever they say, it can change scents really easily. So sometimes like if I smell a fragrance on like a stick or something, it could smell amazing, but on me it's disgusting. So I tried it um, on my actual skin and I loved it. So. The fragrance family for this is warm and spicy. The scent type is warm and sweet gourmand. And the key notes are jasmine, orange blossom, and patchouli. So again, there's like a citrusy element to it. So I think that's why I like it because if it was just a floral scent, I probably wouldn't like it. I don't love floral perfumes. I find they can smell like musty. So yeah but this one is really nice it does smell a bit florally florally is that a word i don't know but it does smell a bit like flowers when you first put it on but then it has like a spicy undertone kind of thing i don't know i'm not good at describing fragrances but yeah i really like this so that will be the next fragrance that i 
get probably because the one I have now the only perfume I use is C by Giorgio Armani so if you're wondering like would you like this scent if you smelled that one and you liked it that's the kind of scents that I like so yeah that might give you an idea okay now it's back to makeup yeah the rest is all eyeshadow palettes which is typical for me so the first one is the urban decay born to run palette which i've wanted like since it came out but i didn't need a new palette so i didn't get it but now i've been seeing a lot of people talk about it and it seems like i would really enjoy having this so this palette is an all-in-one eyeshadow palette with 21 shades for every possible eye look from neutral to smoky and bright to sultry. So I think that's why I think this palette is worth getting because you can create so many different looks. There's so many different color families and the colors that are in it are not like super bright neon colors which I probably will never wear. They're actually colors you can work into more like wearable glam looks and I love that it has like a well I don't know if that's a matte shade but it has like a cream shade and it also has like some browns that you could put in the crease so you could use this as an everyday palette or go like more sultry with it so that's something i would like to try and everyone's saying this is like one of the best palettes that urban decay has released it's just like a really good formula so yeah i would like to get that so the next palette on my list is another thing that i've meant to buy several times but it's always out of stock on sephora canada it's the domini cosmetics latte palette so this palette has 10 luxurious blendable shades and it says that five are transitional colors that can be used all over the lid or worked into the crease it also includes three gorgeous foil shimmer shades that can be used all over the eye in the inner corners or as a halo and two pop color shades to make any look stand out effortlessly so i've heard from several people on youtube that this is amazing so i have to get it obviously it was i think yeah tara babies and stephanie nicole who i find have really good taste in makeup they both said like this is really good so that's why i was like oh well now i need it and i love that it's like again it has the more neutral shades that you can use every day but then it does have two pops of color which are really nice and wearable and go well with like the other tones so yeah i really like to try this i have obviously never tried anything else from domini cosmetics uh, i think she only has two palettes at sephora and the other one is the lemonade palette but it's more like pastel -y bright colors which is not really for me so but this one i'm definitely wanting to get the next palette on my list is by pat mcgrath so this is the sublime what's it called it's called the mothership sublime bronze ambition eyeshadow palette so yeah, I've never, like I said before, I don't own anything else from Pat McGrath because of the price. So this palette is $70 for six eyeshadows, <laughs> which I know is crazy. But apparently Pat McGrath has like the best eyeshadow formula on the market right now. And I just have to see if that's true. So, and these colors, I know I'll get good use out of them. These are always the colors that I reach for first, like these more bronzy, like champagne shades. So I already know that I'll like the colors. The only thing is that there's no like matte cream shade. So yeah, it's maybe not a full palette, but it's a good way to try Pat McGrath eyeshadows, I think, because the bigger eyeshadow palettes from her are yeah a hundred more dollars so if you don't want to spend 170 you can just spend 70 and get this one yeah and the packaging is just really nice so what does it say 
So it's described as an illuminating palette with a soiree of fiery coppers, illicit charcoals, sensual golds, and carnal champagnes. So yeah, that sounds just like something I would like. Yeah, so I think if I was going to spend that much money on a Pat McGrath palette, I would definitely get this one. It seems like it's the most it's worth it for me because her other palettes have like a lot of colors in them like very bright like vivid colors that I know myself and like I would hardly ever wear so yeah definitely if I do get a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette it would be this one last item on my list also an eyeshadow palette is by Natasha Denona and I've never really wanted a Natasha Denona palette before because like Pat McGrath, they're ridiculously priced and there's like a lot of mixed reviews about her eyeshadows so I didn't want to spend like tons of money on something that may or may not even be good but I have heard like a lot of people say this is one of her better ones and it's back to like her original formula so apparently like well, she has like these big huge palettes that are like 300 something dollars, which I'm never going to buy that. I'm never going to spend that much on eyeshadow. <laughs> um, but yeah, apparently those ones were like her best formula. And then like as she released different palettes, like she was changing the formula up every time and it was getting like worse and worse. But apparently this one is like back to her signature formula. And I just think that, again, this is something I could get a lot of use out of because it has like those more neutral tones. Um, it doesn't have a matte cream shade, so yeah. But it has those like, those like neutral, yeah, are they neutral? I guess they're like kind of warm. Yeah, it has those brown shades. And I really like the pops of color that, what is what would that be called? Is that like a teal? I don't know, but it looks really nice. And I really like that color Dijon, the mustard matte shade that looks amazing for the crease. I would really like it. And I just think like this whole vibe would go really well with green eyes. I have green eyes, so I think that that would look really nice. Yeah, the swatches look amazing. This is $162, so... I don't know if I'll ever get it, but if I do get an Natasha Denona palette, I would get this one because she does have like mini palettes, but I heard that they're not good. So why spend like $32 on a tiny palette that's not that good when you can get a full size one? Anyway, that's how I justify it. So. Yeah, did I read the description? So, this palette features 15 brand new eyeshadow shades in the classic signature Natasha Denona formulas, including matte, metallic, sparkling, and duochrome shades. So yeah, you could get like, like I said, everyday look to a more glam. You could go like super dramatic even if you wanted to. I've seen some really nice looks um, on YouTube with like that green shade, so. Yeah, I think this would be fun to like play with more color too. So I think that's it for my list. Yeah, so I hope you guys like this video and let me know down below what are some things on your wish list. Doesn't have to be for Christmas, but just like whatever you're eyeing right now. Yeah, and let me know also if you have any of these products already. If you think I shouldn't get them, that would help save me some money. <laughs> so yeah, give this video a like if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!